It feels like the PlayStation 4 has been a part of the gaming world for so long, because it has. Believe it or not, the console is still going strong nearly half a decade after its release, and is showing absolutely no signs of slowing down anytime soon. While the console is tremendously popular, there are some lesser-known PS4 features that have flown under everybody's radar. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the gamer and ring that bell to become part of our notification squad so you never miss a video. Without further ado, here are 10 things only pro gamers know the PS4 can do. The Useful HDMI Device Link Imagine integrating your PS4 with your TV to such an extent that the level of functionality you'll enable will be truly something else altogether. This can be accomplished with ease through the HDMI device link feature on the PS4. Now, this feature isn't incredibly necessary, but if you ever get as lazy as we do sometimes, it's completely worth it. This feature is especially useful since the PS4 has become more than just a simple gaming console. It's a gateway to a whole new world of entertainment. It will give you complete control of your entire entertainment center. By selecting the Enable HDMI Device Link option on your PS4, for. The sheer number of features that will be opened up to you is, quite frankly, astounding. Just to give you a taste of these features, your PS4 will turn on and off automatically with your TV, which will automatically switch over to the correct HDMI port. That's right, now you don't need to grab that TV remote. That's all the way across the room. You just need to press that PS button to turn your PS4 on and voila, your TV turns on with it. You don't even need to switch the source because it automatically goes to the right HDMI port. It may not seem like an extremely useful feature, but you'll quickly fall in love with it. The PS4 is quite simply the lazy person's dream. Share gameplay footage with the push of a button. The share button on the DualShock 4 controller has truly enabled a whole host of opportunities for social media savvy gamers. It seems like everyone and their mom wants to get internet famous nowadays, and you're really just one click of the share button away from doing so on the PS4. If you're more of a screenshot taker than a gameplay recorder, you can use the easy screenshot setting on the share button to take screenshots with the press of a share button instead of holding it down. Aside from quickly taking and sharing screenshots, there are also many other ways in which this simple button can augment your gaming experience. For starters, you can stream gameplay footage to your friends. To accomplish this, simply press the share button and choose broadcast gameplay. Once you've chosen the streaming service of your choice, which is probably going to be either YouTube or Twitch, you're all set. Trying to be a pro streamer and getting your face cam up at the same time is a whole different beast. But you could start with some gameplays until all 12 of your crazy fans beg you for face cam. Now the whole world can see you fail spectacularly as you try to defeat Deathbringer and Horizon Zero Dawn for what feels like the umpteenth time. Get good, scrub! Create a group of your favorite gamers. Communicating with people on the PS4 can prove to be a huge pain, like a gigantic behemoth of a pain. After all, trying to type anything with a controller is an extremely time-consuming process. We think we'd rather get waterboarded than type using a PS4 controller. If we're being honest, but we'll talk about how to rectify that issue later in this video. The fact of the matter is that trying to form a collective that will play a particular game together is nothing short of exhausting. Not only do your friends have to own the game, but they have to be on at the same time as you and be down to play. It's a lot to ask for. Thankfully, this problem is nullified with the nifty little feature on the PS4. Basically, instead of having to individually communicate with all of your friends, you can simply form a group to send collective messages. This can be done by going to the Friends tab in Settings and selecting Add Favorite Group. Choose the friends you want to game with and you're all set. Not only can you create a group chat on the PS4, but you could even create a community of all your favorite gamers where you can each give updates about when you'll be online and keep each other in the loop. It's a really neat feature. The Quick Menu is Perfect it seems that the major focus of the PlayStation 4 was on improving the overall level of gaming immersion to a considerable extent, and one can confidently say they've achieved this goal. Sony reworked the share button and they reworked the way we communicate with our friends, but the focal point of this entry has to be the quick menu system, which promotes a seamless gaming experience. This quick menu is an absolute gem. By tapping the PS button, all the important system options are available to you in the palm of your hand. You can fiddle with the sound and your devices, Check which of your friends are online, play some music, set your online status, create a party, turn your PS4 off or on rest mode, and even customize the items on the quick menu. With this service, you can basically alter the settings of the PS4 on the fly without having to leave your game. And the menu only takes up half of the screen anyway, so you can still get a glimpse of what's going on in the game if you're playing online. This can prove to be incredibly helpful since any nitpick can be fixed with ease without having to abandon your game altogether. The quick menu can be a lifesaver once you learn about everything it has to offer. Compare trophies with others. 
Trophies have always been a divisive element of modern gaming. There are some trophy lovers and some trophy haters. Gamers who prefer the system think of it as another element of the game that will allow them to obtain bragging rights and also develop a sense of self-satisfaction as well. These types of gamers are usually completionists who will stop at nothing to get that platinum digital trophy. However, detractors have stated that trophies are basically nothing more than inconsequential digital achievements that only end up extending the playtime of the game. While there's definitely some validity to both sides of the argument, digital trophies never hurt anyone and they add to the game so we here at the gamer love them. Whatever your opinion might be about this system, it's still quite fun to show and compare your trophy haul with your friends. This is exactly what Sony wanted to promote. Sony wants people to compete for PS4 trophy supremacy. If you want to compare trophies on the PlayStation 4, simply select the trophies option and select compare trophies. Now all you need to do is select one of the many friends on your list and a game both of you play and instantly feel bad about the fact that you aren't even close to what they've managed to achieve. You better start working towards those Platinums. A wired connection does wonders. The age of wireless internet is upon us. Wires are quickly becoming obsolete, and it's only a matter of time before we end up living in an age where the entire concept of wires doesn't even exist. However, when it comes to maintaining reliable connectivity, the fact of the matter that a wired connection is infinitely better in this regard. Now, we're just going to set the record straight. Depending on the position of the internet router in your house, it may be impossible for you to have a wired connection because, well, you need to plug an ethernet cable from the back of your router to the back of your PS4. If these two objects are nowhere near each other, you'll have some rearranging to do, but it's totally worth it because when it comes to console gaming, reliable internet is a must. After all, how many times has slow internet impeded your multiplayer experience? Dreaded lag can hit us all, and sometimes it's not the server's fault, but our Wi-Fi internet connections. How many times have you been forced to stare at your PlayStation home screen until that game you want to play is downloaded or updated? Setting up a wired ethernet connection will do wonders for your overall gaming experience if these problems constantly plague your sessions. Voice commands improve functionality. Voice technology may have started off as a gimmick, but it's quickly growing to become one of the most preferred modes of navigation. The strides that this technology has taken over time is nothing to scoff at, and it's only a matter of time before we start using this technology in our everyday lives. It's mainly used when driving a car or when you talk to voice assistants on your phone, but Sony has already integrated this technology seamlessly with their home console. Sometimes using a controller to navigate a menu is just too much of a hassle. You want things to be done with as little effort as possible because, well, you just came home after a long day of work, or you're just plain old lazy. Join the club, pal. No matter what the case may be, don't worry, because we've got the perfect solution for you. All you have to do is plug in a headset or plug in a set of earphones with a mic into the headphone jack of your controller and utter the word PlayStation. There are so many commands that you can say, and while we can't tell you all of them right now, why not let your console do that for you? Just say all commands, and you'll be presented with a whole host of commands. You'll instantly be shocked at all the interesting commands at your disposal. Use the PlayStation app for a seamless experience. Smartphones have pretty much taken over our lives. It'll be hard to find one person who doesn't have a smartphone, and a large number of technologies are already utilizing this technology to its fullest extent by integrating their services with creative smartphone apps. We are seeing more and more incredible mobile games and some creative companion apps to console games on smartphones. Enabling this level of functionality is truly amazing. And you can bet Sony is obviously not in the back seat when it comes to this technology. There's an official PlayStation app that you can download and it's beyond useful. By linking this app with your console, you'll be able to access information that you generally had to use your console to survey. What exactly can you do with this app, you ask? Well, think about the most annoying thing with the PS4. The first thing that comes to mind is definitely sending messages, right? Well, using the PlayStation app, you can use your phone to type and send messages. Something that would take you half an hour on a console can be done in seconds with the app. Along with being able to send messages, you'll be able to check which of your friends are online and you'll also be able to purchase games that you can download automatically even when you're not home. Now that, my friends, is one hell of a companion app. Spotify and the PS4 are soulmates. One of the best music streaming apps, it must be said that Spotify has grown to become a global phenomenon when it comes to shaving the music industry as we know it. The brilliant algorithms and playlists of this service pretty much guarantee that you'll never have to manually discover songs again. Spotify will just do that for you. So obviously, knowing how many people use Spotify each and every day, Sony decided to partner with the streaming service, and connecting your console to Spotify will prove to be incredibly rewarding. To enable this functionality, the first thing you need to make sure of is that your PlayStation and smartphone should be connected to the same network. This obviously goes without saying, and once you've done this, all you need to do is create a Spotify account or log in with an existing Spotify account and play a song. If you get annoyed with all these pesky ads, you could even subscribe to the premium service for as low as 10 bucks a month. This isn't an advertisement, we just really like Spotify, so they deserve some support from the gamer. Now, when you don't feel like playing a serious game and you just want to take a break, 
you could play some music while enjoying a game of NBA 2K18 or NHL 18 and relax. Spotify and the PS4 are perfect for each other. Don't show that you've logged into PSN. While it might be possible for you to hide your online status on the PS4, the fact of the matter is there's still the fleeting moment when you're shown to be online when you log in. You get everyone's hopes up and they're about to message you, and you're somehow offline again. Sometimes, though, that short little moment is more than enough for one of your annoying friends to pick up the fact that you are willfully trying to ignore him or her. It's not that you don't enjoy playing with them, it's just that you want some solo gaming every now and then. <laughs> Who are we kidding? You're avoiding them because they're so annoying words can't describe it. Well, it's time to get rid of this awkward moment once and for all. How you ask? It's simple. When the PS4 turns on and you're at the profile selection screen, don't press X like you normally would. Instead, press the options button to bring up a pop-up window. After you've done this, select the login with online status appear offline option. Now you'll be able to connect to the internet without notifying any of your friends. If you're the only one playing on the console and remove the profile selection screen, make sure your online status is set to appear offline when you get off. So once you get back online, you'll still be appearing offline. Well, there you have it. Those were some pro tips about the PS4. Did you know you could do any of these things with the PS4? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to The Gamer to keep up to date with all things gaming. Thanks for watching.